Ah, traveler. Good to see you. I trust you are well. Wait, uh, Xiangli, what are you doing here? If I am to roam about the world, then I certainly mustn't limit my destinations. The free and prosperous land of wind is as splendid a place to visit as any. And it's quite a pleasant surprise to run into you here. One misty garden, please. I take my tea strong, thank you. tea is clear and glows with a pleasing hue. Its richness is complemented by a floral and fruity fragrance. Exquisite. Wow! So Zhang Li is even super knowledgeable about tea! Paimon usually just gulps down the tea and says something simple like, Mmm, yummy yummy in Paimon's tummy! Mindfully savoring the tea shows due respect to the person that brewed it for you. Tea of good quality is hard to come by and those capable of brewing tea according to the occasion and emotions, even more so. Oh, Paimon gets it now. So, could you teach Paimon how to savor tea like you do? It seems you smell it first and drink it, right? That's correct. Every type of tea is unique. The more you drink, the more you will understand the subtle differences. Smelling the aroma will reveal the quality of the tea. Lower grade teas emit a musty and seemingly scorched scent. Whereas ones with a delicate yet soothing aroma are usually of a higher quality. If you want to be more particular, according to Liyue ancient tradition, you could acquire a vintage goblet, which is used specifically for examining the aroma. Oh no! All this time Paimon's been missing out on her tea! Not to worry. Knowledge is vast. It's never too late to learn. As a beginner, you can try this method. First, observe the color. Then smell the fragrance, and finally, take a sip. Remember, you can understand anything as long as you approach it in the proper order. Chowing Village in Northwest Liyue is famous for their tea industry. It would be well worthwhile the visit when you get the chance. What I shared with you today are mostly my own habits as an old-fashioned Liyue local. Each region has its own tea traditions and culture. One should always respect the conventions of the local region. Paimon gets it, uh, but whether Paimon can remember it all is another story. <laughs> Thank you for such excellent tea. It made my trip out here all the more worthwhile. If you ever come to manage a tea house, I will certainly be a regular. Well, we're already pretty busy. I don't think we'll have time to manage a side hustle at a tea house. Regardless, you have my complete support. Let's call it a day. I won't take more of your time. All the best with your new pursuit. Ah, yes. The bill. Just put it on Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor's tab, as usual. Of course. Take care. Give our regards to the director. <laughs> Hi there, cutie. It's good to see you. <laughs> it is certainly unusual for us to meet in a place like this, but as Lisa said, I'm glad to see you. Hey, what do you mean by a place like this? The tavern is a wonderful place to relax and unwind a little. <sighs> do you have any idea how hard it was for me to drag the acting grandmaster away from her desk? We've only been here for a few minutes, and worry is already written all over her face. <sighs> Lisa... Yeah, this is the acting grandmaster we're talking about. It's only natural that she has a lot on her plate, but you know what they say. Now that we're already here, uh, why don't you let her mix a couple of drinks for you two? It'll make you feel a lot better. Honestly, Jean is the only person I know who needs to be taught how to relax. Hey, cutie, whip me up a love poem. Medium, extra sweet. And how about you, Jean? What are you in the mood for? I'll just have coffee. Medium, please. 
Jean, you drink coffee all the time. Wouldn't you like to try something else? Thanks, but no. I want something to help keep me awake. Thanks. The sweetness is just right. Mmm, very good. Mmm, the coffee is strong and rich with just a nice hint of bitterness to it. Actually, I do understand what you meant, Lisa. Hmm? I've been reflecting on my weaknesses lately. There's still room for me to improve in many areas, such as my productivity and management. I'm concerned my stress may even be starting to somehow affect you as well. What? <laughs> See? Cutie note. You were working yourself way too hard, so I thought I'd take you out for some drinks. All I wanted was for you to have some fun. But even in the tavern, you're still thinking about work. That's what's most concerning. If you're constantly under stress like this, it's only a matter of time before you burn out. Oh, you also agree with Lisa? Hmm. So, is learning to relax actually my biggest challenge? Yep! Work hard, play hard, and rest even harder. The two of you may need even more rest than you'd expect. <laughs> All right, I... I understand. Thank you. All of you. Now I know that this place serves refreshments for both the body and the mind. Is that why you and Kaya like the tavern so much? Yes and no. It really depends on who's making the drinks. Speaking of which, we couldn't have changed Jean's mind without you today. You sure have a way with words, cutie. <laughs> then we'll see you later. I'll consider coming here to relax if I have another opportunity. Sounds great! Take care, you two! <laughs>
speed.
Yeah. 